Good afternoon and welcome to today's Ad Week webinar, Why Awareness-Driven Brands Must Rethink Television Measurement, sponsored by Mountain. I'm Melissa Ward, Managing Editor of Branded Content at Ad Week, and I'll be your host today. Before we begin, I want to take a few minutes to make sure everyone knows what to expect from today's webinar and is familiar with the features of our platform. The actual presentation should go somewhere in the 30 to 40 minute range, after which we'll have time for audience Q&A. So if at any point you have a question for our speaker, just use the Q&A tool on the left side of your screen, and we'll get to as many questions as we can after the end of our live presentation. Also, it's not too late to invite your colleagues to join us at today's webinar. About 15 minutes ago, you received a final reminder email from us. And there you'll find a link to the webinar registration page that you can share with your colleagues. There is still plenty of time for them to join us live, but if they can't, we totally understand. Today's webinar is being recorded and they can always catch the on-demand version. In fact, the on-demand version recording is gonna be available to all of our registrants. We'll be sending you a link later today when it's live around 3.30 p.m. Eastern. And if you'd like a PDF of today's slide deck, you'll find it in the event resources tab at the top of your screen. As always, if you enjoyed today's webinar, definitely check out the full Adweek webinars calendar at adweek.com slash webinars. You'll see what we have coming up and you'll also get access to our archive of on-demand content. Now, let me introduce you to today's speaker. We are happy to be joined by Tim Edmondson, Director of Content at Mountain, where he and his team help craft the messaging that defines the company's website, white papers, thought leadership, and more. We have got some fantastic content to dive into today. So let me bring Tim up on screen and we can get started. All right, hello, hi everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us. I know everyone's time is valuable, so I appreciate you taking a little bit of your time to, uh, to spend it with us. Um, before we dive in, I just wanna extend a thank you to Adweek for uh, partnering up with us on this. Very excited, they've been fantastic. Melissa, the host, the best. So um, thank you very much for that. Um, before we dive into the content, just a little bit of background on uh, me and Maybe just to explain, maybe this isn't necessary, but if you signed up, we were supposed to have Ali Hayeri um, as the speaker. Um, I'm filling in for him. He had a last minute conflict. So hope you're not too disappointed, um, but this might actually end up being better than how he would have done it. Uh, we'll see by the end of this. So um, a little bit of background about me. Uh, I've been with Mountain for um, just over five and a half years now, I think. And so that's given me... Um, a very interesting perspective when it comes to the uh, the advent of connected TV, uh, specifically with advertising. We were one of the very first um, uh, ad platforms to dive into connected TV advertising, uh, seeing the big opportunity there. And so I've had a front row seat in um, its evolution as an ad channel um, from where it was kind of a niche thing and now it's becoming this dominant form of, of media consumption. So picked up a few insights along the way. I'm going to share those with you today. Um, and I'm excited to dive into what we're talking about, which is how awareness focused brands can really uh, make the most of the opportunity connected TV uh, has. And so case in point, today's key takeaway is just that. So we're going to uh, do a dive into what that means exactly. Um, I think with connected TV so far, it's been like a very effective performance channel. Um, in terms of being a direct response ad channel, e-commerce, direct consumer, man, they've been going nuts with connected TV, right? They, to be able to serve an ad on television and then connect that ad and that customer journey to a website visit and a conversion, that's huge for them. Um, but that's kind of sucked a little bit of the oxygen out of the room in terms of, uh, of, um, how people talk about it. We want to make sure that these awareness focused brands who have probably have an offline focused endpoint and outcome, not necessarily an online conversion, how they can get a lot out of this. And so that's what we're gonna to do today. I hope I do a good job explaining that. Um, how will I explain that? This is how. So here's a quick uh, rundown of our agenda today. Um, we're gonna start off with just a little bit of a landscape, uh, kind of take stock of what's going on out there um, and why this is such a big opportunity uh, for CPG brands, awareness focused brands like auto manufacturers, stuff like that. Um, do a little bit more of a deeper dive into that and, and really focus on the opportunity presented by the data. 
that connected TV offers advertisers, um, especially if you're used to advertising on linear television, right? Like not a lot of data there. Connected TV is the inverse of that. Tons of data, tons of insights. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to um, keep drilling down on that and get into a little bit of the granularity of what options are available, um, what the future holds, um, basically what this foundation of a very strong data set can do for you in measuring success for TV campaigns. All right, cool. So without further ado, let's dive in. And first up, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the power of connected TV. Um, and that's really kind of sourced from the fact that many people now aren't watching TV the same way they used to, right? That's been the story for a while. Cord cutting, that's been a trend. Um, I'm sure AdWeek's covered it for years at this point. Uh, that's that's just the meta, right? Um, it's accelerating. The pandemic, the past year and change, um, it accelerated those viewership rates like crazy. Um, consumers aren't really seeing linear as the go-to these days. Anecdotally, I don't have a cable subscription. I just stream TV. Um, and a lot of my peers do the same. A lot of uh, everyone <laughs> does the same, right? Um, and so that's a, a, a major opportunity in the fact that your audience is now on streaming TV. That's not really a debate anymore. That was a thing in the early stages of connected TV. There was concerns around reach. Linear TV is the one that's worried about reach now. The viewership's dropping. They're moving it to, to CTV, right? And so with that comes major opportunity because as I mentioned, you have a lot of data at your fingertips when it comes to connected TV advertising. It's essentially a digital ad channel. Uh, paired with television, right? It's TV commercial as an ad unit. And so what that gives you is the ability to not only measure the impact of your campaigns, but to set them up for success by targeting the right individuals. Um, going back to the fact that e-commerce and DTC brands have been flourishing here, it's because of that. They're able to tailor a message to a very specific set of audience and then um, present them with creative that prompts action, gives a CTA, and then measure that, uh, that impact of their ad on an online conversion. That's huge. Um, so that's a big deal. And it's the data that really unlocks all of that. But that's e-commerce. That's DTC. We're talking about awareness. We're talking about CPG. So next slide says, how does this apply to my brand? If you're one of these, you're asking that question. It's probably why you're here, right? So um, this... The answer to that is the data element. Um, it's the insights you're getting from connected TV that just weren't available in the TV format before. Um, and what you can do with that is especially useful from a strategic standpoint. Uh, you're getting feedback quicker versus um, you know past models where you're putting an ad out there. Uh, you've got you set up all these measurement systems that kind of um, give you a sense of effectiveness, that's not really necessary with connected TV. You get insights much quicker and they're much more accurate. And so that's a big deal if you're trying to raise awareness and you're trying to um, you know, reach as many viewers that will engage with your brand as possible. So that's an untapped opportunity. And the reason we're saying it's untapped is because we're in a bit of a transition period when it comes to connected TV right now. Um, people are still figuring out how to use it, right? Um, it was an interesting journey for a lot of e-commerce brands and DTC brands to get to the point where they saw it as a reliable, effective performance channel. And now we're kind of at that same um, knowledge gap, but it's slightly different with uh, awareness-driven brands where you know they see linear TV, TV in general, as like that's the big awareness play, right? And when they hear selling points like the ones I was listing that are so appealing to e-commerce, um, it kind of falls in on deaf ears, right? Because they're more focused, you are more focused on offline outcomes. You don't have that online conversion point, not necessarily. It's starting to change a little bit. Um, I've been reading, you know, P&G, Procter & Gamble has been experimenting and devoting budget toward uh, more direct advertising, direct outcomes. And I believe the headlines painted it in a pretty positive light. Um, they were seeing success with that. So there might be something we see more in the future where CPG uh, takes more advantage of the internet's ability to reach consumers directly and sell directly to them. Uh, but for now, it's like, you know, if you're just trying to raise awareness and increase reach, um, the selling points that I was listing don't, you know, 
They're not, not exactly for you. Um, but that's not the case really, because really we're talking about the foundation that supports those other selling points. You, you can apply that foundation to your own approach. Um, and, you know, we can get away from this mindset. Once you kind of understand the opportunity there, get away from the mindset of CTV kind of being a value add. It's like, oh, we're running a linear campaign. We'll, we'll run some streaming stuff too. We know there's audience there. Um, maybe as a little bit of an afterthought, that can't be the way it's done going forward because the consumer trends, they're just not pointing that way. Your audience, your reach, all of that, it's going to be streaming. So you have to get good at connected TV or you're going to fall behind. So, excuse me. Um, how does connected TV exactly do that? Uh, so we'll look through the lens of uh, our ad solution we call performance TV. Um, you know, we built it to facilitate uh, goals for advertisers, make sure they get good return on investment, um, make sure their, their ads are effective and it's worthwhile and generating very positive outcomes for them. Um, the way that it does that and the way that uh, CPG and other awareness brands can tap into that is by utilizing those same uh, tool sets, right? Audience targeting. So if you have uh, an audience, you know, you do your market research, you know, you have a general sense of who you want to reach with your message, who it's going to resonate with. On linear TV, you're broadcasting that based off of, you know, network by TV show. Uh, you're tying it to um, a specific uh, piece of content. Connected TV is different. It's based on the audience, which I'll get into in a little bit, but it's a far more effective way, an efficient way of reaching your audience and maximizing the effect of that ad spend. Um, another thing that makes it useful is the ability to get real-time insights on your campaign performance. Um, case in point, our platform has an A-B testing tool for creative. So um, I'm not sure if you've run A-B testing on a linear campaign in the past, a little clunky, uh, but with our platform and just, you know, with CTV, again, we're talking about that data foundation. It's all right there. You're able to tap into these insights quickly. It enables these kind of features to be built into this platform where you can launch two sets of creative and see how each one performs based on the audience you're targeting. That's a big deal. You can see the actions that they're taking. So if they're finishing watching the ad, uh, how many impressions, if you have an online site, like if you have a, a place you're trying to drive traffic, you can measure the amount of site traffic those ads are driving, and you can pick a winner and proceed with the campaign using that creative. It's kind of a big deal, right? Like that's awesome. So why would you not want that? Um, and then lastly, um, you can get some very in-depth insights that you can apply to your other uh, strategies, linear especially, um, by uh, utilizing performance insights by audience, based on your audience. So this is something that we're, we're, we're getting into now uh, with our platform, where you know, you're able to target your audience, you build it right in the UI, and then you're able to see how that audience is responding to your message, right? We're able to uh, isolate performance based on that audience. So when you're looking at your audience strategy, you've got all your audiences picked out, um, you can tie performance specifically to that audience set. That's fantastic. We're in the you know uh, the learning stages, but we're also seeing a lot of success with it. It's very exciting, and that's the kind of opportunity the data sets facilitate with connected TV. It's very useful. You're able to apply that uh, to your other strategies and say, okay, this audience, this message is resonating. What can we do with that information? So. Let's dive in a little bit more into the uh, specifics on the last slide, right? We started with audience targeting. Talk a little bit about that. But the thing that uh, audiences really bring to the table, and I think a lot of people, um, it's an initial attractor for a lot of advertisers, is the fact that you're able to drill down and target those audiences that you really do care about, right? Um, it's a big motivator for people when they're, uh, they're researching CTV to start, when they're just starting that learning process. Um, but the way that it functions, it's like, yeah, cool. You can meet, you can find those people, but it's the, the value that it offers is what really matters. Right. I think I mentioned this before, but you're able to get the, uh, efficiency on your ad spend because you're not just targeting a broad audience. You're targeting the exact 
types of people that will, you know, uh, uh, engage with your message and take the appropriate actions afterward. But that's a big deal. And, you know, for CPG brands, you're now raising awareness among the folks that matter most to you. You're getting a lot of value for every impression that goes out the door. That's a big deal, right? Um, and again, it's creating that awareness among an ever-increasing audience pool on streaming TV. You're putting those touch points into the sales cycle. So when they're, you know, walking down the cereal aisle, they're grabbing Cheerios, they're grabbing Captain Crunch, they're grabbing the thing that you want them to grab because you've stayed top of mind um, while they're watching TV, just like uh, the old times, linear. So with uh, targeting on performance TV, sorry, a little bit of a plug here, but um, we built a platform we're very proud of, and we think it's extremely effective at what it does. And so I just want to talk a little bit about uh, how we approach that. Um, we use uh, different methods of targeting your audience. Um, you can use third-party audience data, or you can use first-party audience data, which is very valuable because with third-party audiences, we've integrated, or I'm sorry, we partnered with uh, Oracle Data Cloud, which offers access to tens of thousands of bleh, sorry, tens of thousands. There we go, of uh, audience segments uh, at no additional charge, which is great. You can build your UI. Uh, I'm sorry, you can build your audience strategy right in the UI and launch it. You're also able to retarget uh, folks that are already lower down your sales funnel. So again, if you have a website and you have a place where you're driving traffic or you're collecting traffic, um, you can use that site to uh, retarget your audience, right? You can use those site visitor, visitors to launch a uh, campaign that's a little bit lower funnel. You can refine your messaging and reach them at the place they are in the sales cycle with the appropriate messaging. It's a big deal. Um, and then lastly, uh, you can use your CRM to retarget uh, audience as well. So if you have an email list, um, you can upload that into Performance TV. Um, we're seeing really great results so far. This is, again, this is something that the, uh, the, the digital nature of connected TV allows for. Um, you can upload an email list, and instead of just sending those folks emails, you're able to advertise to them on TV, along with all the benefits that come with that. You know, you have a more impactful ad. Uh, CTV ads are unskippable, so the message is resonating and it's landing in full. It's a big deal. So there's a, there's a lot of advantages to uh, audience targeting when it comes to Connect TV that aren't really afforded on linear. You just have a lot more you can do with it. So now that you're targeting those audiences, um, what are you learning about that, right? So you're targeting these folks, you're sending out these ads, and you're going to start getting a data, you know, data feedback. You're going to get that loop. And um, what that does is gives you insight that you wouldn't normally have on linear, obviously. It's a digital channel, but you're getting it in real time. And that's a big deal on TV advertising. The usual way of doing things, um, whether you're working with like a managed service, agency, what have you, um, that is useful. And you can get good information from those folks. And I'm sure a great service too, but you are introducing the human element. And with that, there is the back and forth, there is delay, communication, all that jazz, right? Takes a while for your information to get back to you. With Connect Television, you don't have that problem because you have a straight, you have a main line right to the data. So you're able to see the impact and effectiveness of your campaigns in real time. You're not waiting for someone to provide that information. With Performance TV, for example, it's a self serve UI. You log into it and you get your information immediately. And so that unlocks the ability to make better data informed decisions much quicker. You are not waiting on another person. You have access to it immediately, and that helps you create a more robust, focused strategy that responds quickly to whatever data you're getting. So whatever your, your information is telling you, it makes it actionable. It makes it much more useful because you're able to get it quicker. So again, sorry, a little plug, but in terms of the speed and accuracy function uh, with performance TV, this is how we design this platform. Um, the value of connected TV is that data. It's the ease of use. Um, it breaks down a lot of barriers when it comes to TV advertising. And so if you're looking for an ad platform that um, can satisfy and tap into those opportunities, make the most of it, you're going to need something like what we've created, right? Um, focus on ease of use, um, 
very, very few friction points, something you can log into and launch a campaign. That's what we have here. Um, and it's all tied to the ability to uh, generate that performance and measure it. So features like the A-B testing, like I mentioned earlier, giving you quick information, uh, quick feedback on your creative approach, um, the ability to alter your creative. So you're getting this data in. Um, you don't have to wait for a lead time of swapping out creative. Basically, once your video creative is ready, you can go in and swap it out. That's useful. You can make those actionable insights immediate, right? That's great. Um, again, you know, you're changing targeting in real time, same thing. You can go in and adjust targeting strategy. It's a self-serve UI uh, that's extremely useful. Um, and all this culminates in something that allows you to maximize the effect of your budget and the effect of your reach. You're getting that data um, feedback loop. You're seeing what's effective and what's not. You're able to make decisions quickly, make those actions quickly, and you're able to do that all in the UI. Um, as our new chief creative officer described it, it's like uh, posting to social media. It's as simple as that. That's what we're trying to do with TV advertising. And Connected TV is the platform, the foundation that allows us to do something like that. It's a massive opportunity and uh, it's extremely valuable to any sort of brand, awareness brand, DC, DTC brand, what have you. So we're talking a little bit about the current capabilities uh, and also offline conversions, um, off with, uh, advertisers that focus on offline focused outcomes. But that's kind of expanded over the course of time, right? Like before that would be in-store visit. Um, but now you've got apps in the mix, you have in-store visits, you have conversions, stuff like that. There's a big ecosystem of outcomes out there. And just kind of talking about a forward-facing thing here for a second, um, we have this foundation of data that you can do a lot with. And we're, I mean, look at the way that technology advances, right? Like Connect TV is only a few years old in the grand scheme of things. We're in the first inning of this game. You're going to see a lot of amazing advancements, and we're on the cusp of a few already. So Lord knows what it's going to be like in a few years. But if you are an offline uh, focused brand, if you're trying to download, app, you know, drive app downloads, you're trying to uh, encourage store visits, uh, conversions in stores, there's opportunity there that um, will soon be, uh, be able, you know, be able to, be able to tap into it. So, and it all comes back again to that data that you're getting with your campaigns. Um, if you have this foundation of information where you're seeing the uh, ad landing with a consumer and then the actions they take afterward online, um, you can also look to other data providers, mobile data providers, um, location-based ones. And you start to map out that user uh, in combination with these uh, other providers, and you can kind of create this mesh network where you can see the other actions they're taking. Um, this is, again, one of those opportunities that will be uh, prevalent on connected TV thanks to the data you're collecting. It's a big deal. And so eventually, every advertiser is going to be able to measure every outcome in their own personal ecosystem, whether it's on an uh, app, like an app download, or people walking into their brick and mortar location and buying something, they'll get insight into that. Uh, it's an exciting time. And, you know, we're going to see a lot of great stuff coming out in the future. And this is an example of what you're going to be able to do. So connected TV, it's, it's big. And if you're not getting good at it now, you're going to have a steep learning curve when all of your competition is already tapping into this stuff. So it's a good idea to get involved now on this. All right. So, this is kind of a summary of what I was just talking about, but just kind of wrap that up. Um, CPG brands, you know, data is your best friend. You're raising awareness. You want to make sure you're reaching the right folks. Um, speed and insights unlock that for you on Connected TV. Um, and so what we offer that's been lucrative to brands like that uh, in the past, it's the ease of use, it's the speed, and it's the insights, you know. Um, you're able to measure uh, campaign performance, act quickly on it, uh, all in real time. So that's extremely valuable to advertisers that we've gotten a lot of positive feedback about that. And we expect that to be a pretty big reason why more start to gravitate toward it as more and more marketers are researching this ad channel uh, for the goals that they have for their particular brand. Um, so how do we help exactly? Right. Let's drill down a little bit more. Um, 
this is performance TV stuff, but it also with connected TV at, at large. And so while it's framed in the, the you know, framed as a mountain thing, um, if you're shopping around for an ad solution, make sure you can do this stuff because it's super useful. Um, network level reporting, talking about the data. Um, we're able to show uh, performance based on where that viewer saw that ad, um, which is cool just to kind of look at and be like, oh, neat. People are watching a lot of our ads on Discovery. But what that gives you is insight that can inform your linear TV strategy. Um, now you know that this audience uh, gravitates toward this type of programming. You might have known that, you might not have, but now you certainly have that information. So you can apply that to a linear TV strategy. Um, better, if you're trying to reach folks that are still on regular TV, uh, you now have a little bit more information to help guide that strategy. And so you can hopefully get a little bit more impact with your linear TV spend. Um, again, the audience first approach, it's very important. Um, some advertisers kind of, you know, I mentioned before we're in this transition period with connected TV. Some advertisers, when they're coming to it, are still treating it like linear. So they're looking for a network buy. They wanna buy up um, ad space on a particular network and limit it to that because they think that's where their audience is. But as part of the education process, you know, most people have multiple streaming services and um, they watch a lot of different content. And with Connected TV, you're not limited to that like, programming buy. You can follow your audience. And that's what we mean by audience first. So by targeting the viewer, if they bounce around from service to service, watching different shows, you're not limited. You're not leaving them behind just staying with one ad buy. That ad buy follows these folks. It goes to where they are. As long as it's an ad supported network, you're still contacting them regardless of what they're watching. Um, so you're not limiting your buy. You're not, you know, just as soon as they show up, it's like, hey guys, look at our stuff. It's like, no, wherever they're going, uh, you're connecting with them. You're creating those touch points. Uh, and then last, living room quality. Um, this is kind of an interesting point. Um, some connected TV solutions will frame um, regular video advertising as CTV, um, which is done to kind of like boost impression counts, what have you. Uh, that's not what you're trying to do though, right? You're, like, you're trying to buy TV advertising, streaming TV advertising. You don't want to have your ads paired with uh, um, just video, like online videos. That's not what you're buying. So what we do is we focus on uh, TVs um, to really harness that TV uh, ad impact. It's an extremely effective ad channel. And so we want to make sure that our advertisers are making the most of it. And so we, we focus on that. And we have performance data that shows that when an ad is served on TV versus a uh, desktop or an app or what have you on a mobile device or a tablet, um, people can actually navigate to the advertiser's site. Because most people, when they're watching TV, I'm guilty of this, and I guarantee you, you do this too. You're probably on your phone. You have your tablet or your laptop or whatever. So when you see that ad on a streaming TV device, you're able to uh, navigate specifically to that advertiser's website, right? It removes that friction point. No one's going to exit out of an app when they're sitting down to watch a show on their tablet because of an ad. But they are very like, or they are likely to at least visit your site because they don't have to interrupt their viewing experience to do so. So serving on TV is kind of a big deal. Um, we also talked about direct uh, to consumer uh, advertisers, e-commerce, um, just to cover our bases. What do they find appealing? Um, you know, it's that same efficiency play. Um, their ad budgets being spent well. If you're a CPG or awareness brand that wants to uh, at a direct to consumer arena, which I think we're going to start seeing more and more of. Um, it gives you a way to make sure your ad spend is effective in that uh, in that method, and you're not you know wasting budget, right? So the way that it does that uh, is with automated media buying. So this is kind of the secret sauce. I think a lot of um, ad platforms have something, or you know they they will sell something like this. But what we do is we take whatever your audience is, and our algorithm focuses on the. Um, the, the users within those audiences that are likely to, to take action. So it's not only like you're targeting a specific audience, but then you're also targeting the people within that audience that are likely to um, you know, yield the outcome you're looking for. 
it kind of takes it to the next level and it generates a better performance based on your goal. And that's the other thing. It will optimize based on that goal that you enter into the UI. So whether you're trying to do a return on ad spend or a cost per acquisition campaign or a cost per visit campaign, it will take that goal and make sure the campaign serves and services that goal. So pretty useful. Um, and then the last thing is just, you know, omni-channel presence is important. Um, you want to be able to reach your viewer or your audience uh, wherever they're spending their digital time. Obviously, not everyone watches TV 24-7. They're on their mobile device, tablet, what have you. So it's important to follow up the initial touch point of a TV ad with something that uh, uh, keeps your brand top of mind. So while they're on their phone or on uh, their tablet or their desktop, you're able to serve them related um, display ads. And that you know allows you to deliver a related message that continues the conversation. And when it is time to convert, your brand is the last one they were thinking about. All right, cool. So that pretty much wraps it up. Just some key takeaways to, uh, to keep in mind. If there's anything you remember from this presentation, probably remember this. Um, you know, Connected TV, it's, it's a wealth of data. It offers up a lot of insights and uh, it unlocks a lot you can do with that stuff, right? You're able to target the audiences you want to. You're able to get real-time insights. There's no delay. You're getting the information you need, and you're able to, to make decisions based on that. Big deal, right? Um, platforms like Performance TV, that's a key thing when you're shopping around for an ad service, or sorry, an ad solution. Make, make sure you find something that is user-friendly, streamlines a lot of pain points, um, you know, with the... Uh, I think a lot of folks think I can probably run this through my DSP. Eh, not the best. It's a little bit more of a manual approach, a lot of levers to pull. Um, a platform like Performance TV streamlines the whole thing, super user friendly. Um, you're just setting up a social post, basically. So uh, keep that in mind when you're shopping around. Um, I apologize. There looks like there's a couple of uh, extra words in your reaction. Um, but if you do have a reaction to this, I hope it's a positive one. Um, the targeting aspect is key, you know, touched on that throughout, but being able to reach the right audience matters a lot. And um, being able to change that audience strategy based on what you're seeing in your campaign, it's useful. Um, and then last but not least, you know, connecting TV in terms of performance channels, you know, when it comes to digital, you've got paid search, you've got paid social. Connected TV is that new one. Performance TV is that third effective performance channel. Um, it's extremely effective at raising awareness if that's your goal. If you're trying to raise, or I'm sorry, drive conversions, extremely effective at that too. I highly recommend that you start, if you're not experimenting already, you're actually late to the game. So please at least start researching. Once this webinar ends, start Googling, go to mountain.com. In fact, go to mountain.com, don't even Google. Just do that. You'll thank me later. Um, and that's all I've got. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Um, I hope it was informative and useful and a pleasant part of your day. I'm going to uh, kick it back over to Melissa for Q&A. Great. Tim, thank you so much. That was a wonderful deep dive into all the opportunities that CTV can provide to our audience. And I think they will definitely get a lot of use out of that. So as Tim had mentioned, uh, we do have some time for questions. If you haven't already, please ask by using the question tool and you'll find that located on the left-hand side of your screen. We're gonna try to get to as many questions as we can over the next five to 10 minutes, but if we don't get to your question, we always forward them over to the sponsor so that they have the opportunity to possibly reply offline. But a couple quick reminders before we get into those questions. Today's webinar has been recorded and it will be available on demand later this afternoon. We'll be emailing everyone a link to that recording. And of course, if you want a copy of today's slides, you'll find a PDF in the event resources area at the top of your screen. So let us dive into some questions here. We've got some really good ones, Tim. I hope you're ready for it. All right. Awesome. So the first question I have for you is, is streaming TV's reach strong enough to support the needs of advertisers who just want as many eyeballs on their ads as possible? Um, yeah, hundred percent. I think, um, you know, I think I mentioned something about this earlier in the presentation, but yeah, that's, um, that was, that's an older gripe. I think the consumer trends show that, 
viewers are watching connected TV far more now. Um, in terms of ad supported content, uh, I've seen a stat 80% of folks who watch connected TV regularly watch ad supported. I think um, you're seeing the publisher side respond to this. Um, you know, back in the old days, Netflix was subscription only, right? Um, no ads. But now with these newer services that are launching, uh, Paramount Plus, um, Peacock, uh, Discovery Plus, um, they all came, they all debuted with ad supported tiers. And I think it's because that uh, TV viewers are cost conscious and they're looking for a cheaper alternative. That's why they cut the cord to begin with. Um, nobody wants a triple digit cable bill. You're mapping out your bills at the beginning of the month. It doesn't make sense, right? So um, I think. Yeah, the people are going to be there. The reach is there. Um, the ad-supported content is only expanding. Um, and yeah, linear TV, I think if that's where you're looking for your reach now, that's going to continue to shrink. So, and the viewers are going to connected TV. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about connected TV's reach. I'd worry about linear's. As someone who cut the cord a very, very long time ago, I absolutely and completely agree with you on that. Absolutely. All right, great. So my next question is, how granular can I get with my audience targeting on CTV? And is there a recommended approach? Yeah, I mean, you can get as granular. Uh, I can speak to what we have in our platform with uh, Oracle Data Cloud. You can get pretty freaking granular. Um, and it's, it's a curated service too. So, um, you know, I think Q4 is something everyone's always thinking about in our industry. And so I bring that up because there's seasonal um, segments that you can tap into that um, really kind of drill down. So you get access to people that are frequent Black Friday shoppers or high spenders based on credit card data. Um, you can target based if you're just like throwing this out there, if you're a B2B advertiser, um, TV is viable now because you're able to target people based on trade show attendance or job title or if they're a decision maker. Like it's crazy the amount of information that you're able to tap into. And yeah, you should get granular. That said, if you're an awareness driven brand, you want to cast a wide net, right? I want to tell you your business, you know that, but you have that option. You can add as many um, uh, audiences as you want and you know track the performance based off of who you're targeting. So I'd say you can get granular, but I wouldn't limit your approach because you definitely want to make sure you're hitting everyone that kind of hits your customer profile. But yeah, I mean, go nuts in there. Like you can get as uh, uh, detailed or as broad as you want. Fantastic. Now, do you see more CPG brands going a direct route in the future by offering more D to C options? Yeah, I think so. Um, the Procter and Gamble stuff, I think, is super interesting. I think. That was a response to the pandemic, like um, they knew in-store traffic was going to drop, right? And e-commerce was the way to go. So um, you have to find a way to keep selling to your, uh, to your audience. And the way to do that is via e-commerce. And so especially when it was like mandatory, right? There wasn't a lot of places you can go and buy something. Uh, and the thing about people is they're creatures of habit. And we've just had a year plus where new habits were formed. E-commerce was already um, rising every year in terms of usage, in terms of dollars spent. Uh, like the, I was looking at package, like shipping totals per week. Um, that's raising exponentially over the past couple of years, like because people are buying stuff online. And so I think CPG brands need to have some sort of DTC uh, strategy in mind. Uh, be it through advertising or just their general approach, because that's the way the world is going. And um, you don't want to miss out on an opportunity like that. Absolutely. Well, I have one more question for you. Now, what percentage of advertisers do you think will opt for a platform like Mountain versus working with an agency or a DSP? Oh, um, well, I guess the biased answer is we should be 100% working with Mountain, but um, I think that we're going to see a shift in the way things are done. I think I was talking about how um, advertisers coming to connected TV, especially if they were linear TV advertisers, have old habits, and old habits are hard to break, right? Um, and I think the same goes for working with a DSP or an agency. Um, if that's just how it's been, like that's a hard nut to crack of like, well, that's just how we do it. But the selling points for CTV 
um, especially like a self-serve platform where the ease of use and the speed and all that stuff that we covered today, uh, it's just too tantalizing an option. And I think as time progresses, as you start to see organizations evolve because the way we do things uh, shifts and new ideas kind of come into play, I think you're going to see um, a stark increase in uh, advertisers leveraging a platform that's self-serve and easy to use because, you know, it makes people's lives easier. Um, the folks that are the worker bees now uh, want that and they'll build that habit. And when they're decision makers, that's what they're going to turn to, right? So uh, I expect that to increase with time and um, and for good reason. Absolutely. Well, that is all the time we have for Q&A. I'd like to thank our speaker, Tim Hedmanson, as well as our sponsor, Mon uh, our sponsor Mountain. A little tongue twister there. Uh, some final reminders. Make sure you download the slides from event resources and be sure to check your email for a link to the on-demand recording. And if you enjoyed today's webinar, which I'm sure you did, please check out the Adweek webinar calendar at adweek.com slash webinars. Again. Thank you to our speaker, a thank you to our audience for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing everyone at an upcoming Adweek webinar.